one of you now. Do you have any idea how much trouble I would get in if people found out that I helped the guard with that prisoner escape? Enough. Show yourself. Whoever you are. Maybe I can help you. Oh, now you can help. Oopsie. Who are you? I am this house. You're Roland Holloway. You never left. You're trapped in this place. Because of you. I restored this house for my family. Rewire, repipe, I poured everything I had into it. You became obsessed. Well, perhaps I was a little too invested. Because one day I woke up and even I was poured in. My body was gone for good and it was this house. That's your trouble? The things you own own you, right? But Holloway's adapt. How? It took a while, but I got used to my new body. I can control every wall, floor, and door in here. My wife installed mirrors so I could see, speakers to hear. Are your wife and daughters there in that room now? They didn't understand. This house is wonderful. What more could they have needed? You kept them in there? Of course I did. I did everything for them. I became the sleepless, lidless monster for them. I was supposed to let them leave me here? No. You didn't help me. You left me like this. What? Why? You'd have to ask yourself that. I'm not Lucy, but maybe I can help you now. You think that's why I brought you here? For your help? You had Tina lead us here. You let my friends in? I watched my wife murder my children. I felt it. And it's your fault. You couldn't save them in time. You didn't save me. So, now, you're gonna watch your loved ones kill each other. Mirrors are the eyes, the intercoms are the ears. Who's gonna help me to make it deaf and blind so we can all escape? Remembered, Lucy. I'm Audrey. Lucy and I are a lot alike. She didn't fail to save you. Oh, she did. No, she chose not to. And I'm gonna choose the same thing. Stay in your prison forever. Well, it was one of those dream things where you, you know, I, I, I got invited. I didn't, you know, I didn't have to work for it. I was, uh, you know, I just got an a, a email through with an attachment with a script, which looked great. And uh, I hadn't seen the series. It doesn't, doesn't show currently uh, broadly in the UK. Um, so I investigated on Google and found out, and it all looked very cool. And, um, and I liked the nature of the the role itself which was uh, which was unusual and quirky so I didn't take long to think about it and um, and it's always a bonus when you come to very beautiful parts of the world you've never been to before which this is and um, Nova Scotia New Scotland uh, which someone told me on the way out very bizarre seeing that inverted flag uh, color wise um, so I feel I've come home It's very big. It's very big. I mean, the kids absolutely adore it, and we're, you know, adults are duty bound to make it as, as thrilling and scary as possible for them. So we do trick or treating. Hordes of children um, roam the streets and can knock on any door. Uh, so it's big. It's big. Um, I have really fond memories from my own childhood. I always used to do a big bonfire in the garden and 
cook potatoes and set off these pathetic fireworks now. It's amazing. That would be it. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever done a Halloween episode before, so that's another good first. It's been weird travelling in Europe. I've never sort of had so much uh, recognition uh, Europe-wide because it's it's sold to so many territories. When you embark on any of these things, you have no idea. It's lovely to think you're, you're wise. No, I just know this is going to function, but you never do. And it's always delightful when things prove uh, more successful than anyone really could have imagined when they started out. I think it's a notoriously tricky genre. And the writers managed to bridge it really well. It's a kind of... Uh, They've got new viewers to it, which was what they sought, um, but they've also um, placated and pleased those who were very mad about the novels, uh, the original novels, and uh, so I, I, I think it's, uh, it's just very, very well and completely imagined. It's one of those things where all departments play their role, whether it's art department, costume, makeup, uh, actors, uh, and um, it's, a, it's a really complete vision, I think, um, and it's great to be a part of, and I'm under no illusion one's a very small cog in it, but it's a lovely, it's a lovely thing to be uh, on board, and it's uh, continuing. So just after this, the reason that sort of, it was lovely that I was able to do this as I fly back uh, tonight and um, head off to do season three uh, in a day after tomorrow. Well, it's nice when writers, uh, you know, either keep an arm's length or are supportive in the way that George is certainly in Game of, Game of Thrones. You know, it's uh, it's very easy. I think writers fall into two pools. You get those that are kind of nothing will ever quite meet the, the vision in their head that you know, they had when they put pen to paper. And there's others which sort of recognise that, that our role begins when there stops, you know, in terms of drama. And we, you know, we can offer things up that, that perhaps they they hadn't uh, visualized and that's great otherwise we're kind of we're you know we're always trying to seek some some perfection out there but you have to kind of materialize it make it do it for screen um, and it's I think it's good and generous spirited when writers are, are behind what, what we get up to Yeah, there are differences. I mean, there's a, there's a lovely shared language to film, which is lovely. You feel you're, you know, you're invited to the party and, and there's, it doesn't matter what country you're in, a European country, there is a, you know, there's a shared language, which is film language, which is great. And people who have it like to use it and I like to use it and it's, it, it's lovely. It means you have a, you know, you have a shared knowledge. Um, uh, without kind of uh, brown nosing, I think that... Um, <laughs> Generally, I think this side of the ocean, I find there's a, I certainly have found it on this. I think there's a kind of, there's an enthusiasm and a positivity, which I think is probably part of the, the character. The Brit English, particularly if you're in big cities, can be, a, you know, a little bit blase, you know, we've all done it before. And uh, um, and I, I love to come to work with a, you know, skip my step, be enthusiastic, and I still feel a kid. I, you know, everything I ever do, I sort of think, God, I'm really lucky I'm still getting away with it, and, uh, and it's fun. Um, but it's all make-belief and it's like it's nice to do it with a child's heart and so any cynicism or kind of uh, I, I kind of find disconcerting so I find certainly this side of the ocean there's a, there's a really good positivity in their approach to work and a celebration I mean so many people have come up to me during this thing I you know really love your shows I love the shows that you're in um, and it's great that you're doing this and that's you know it's that's that's special <laughs>